Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oscar Zhang and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I upload two videos a week on Tuesdays and Saturdays. I also have Instagram. A lot of the stuff that I talk about I actually style and put into practice and real life on my Instagram. Go over there and hit the follow button. Today's video is going to be about my Chanel 255 medium large. So it's not the classic flap, so there are a few differences. So I'll show you some details of the bag first. This is in the calf skin, but they have made this particular calf skin so, so soft. It feels like lambskin. It is so buttery soft. It's absolutely amazing. And um, this is the chevron print as well. So you've got the normal diamond print um, and then you've got chevron, which is this V shape. It's in iridescent silver and the color is absolutely amazing. In certain lights, you'll see it as, uh, as, as a silver, but then in other lights, you'll see it as pink. It can come out as gold even. It can come out as grey, it can come out as um, a blue too. It is honestly such a beautiful, beautiful bag. When I first saw this bag in store, I instantly fell in love. I had never seen this bag before. And then as soon as I went in the store to check out the new collection, they brought this baby out and it blew me away. So I purchased it immediately. I have a big problem with impulse purchases. I need to definitely work on that. Probably should be one of my New Year's resolutions. But anyway, so I'll quickly go around the bag. So there is the 255 turn lock here, which is different to the medium, medium large classic flap. Classic flap has a CC turn lock. This has the square 255 turn lock. Um, this is actually called the Coco Mademoiselle turn lock. Open that up and you've got the classic secret pocket, which is in every single flap bag. And the story behind it is that Coco Chanel used to keep her secret love letters hidden inside this flap. And so to maintain history, they have retained the zipper and the compartment up here. It is utterly useless. You can't even put like a pen in there because otherwise you can't close the bag. This is purely for sentimentality on the designer's part. Now you've got the inner flap You've got a pocket in here. Open that up and of course you've got the CC stitching here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Oh, there we go. You've got a pocket out the front and you've got, oh, we've got some stuff in here. So I've literally been using this. And you've got one big compartment here. You have a lipstick holder in the middle and two compartments on the side. And you've got the, I think they call it the Mona Lisa pocket because apparently this is supposed to mimic the Mona Lisa smile, this little arch here. But I don't actually know if it's real, but that's what it's called at least. So this is the bag and it's honestly absolutely stunning. I'm just feeling it like the inside here, it's so soft. It, I'm not even lying, it actually feels like lambskin. And if I wasn't told that it was calfskin, I wouldn't believe it. There's no feet on the bag, um, but that's fine, it's part of the, des the design. I really absolutely love the hardware on this. The oil slick hardware is so amazing it's blues and purples greens yellows reds it's just it's basically just a bloody unicorn 
metal. It's unicorn hardware. I, there's no other way to say it. And it's oil slick on here as well. And here. So that's the basics of the bag. Now, I absolutely love this. I purchased this in 2017, part of the rocket ship collection. So that was around September, my birthday. Um, and I got this. And it's so amazing. I only wear it on special occasions, but that was 2017. Um, and pretty much all of 2018. So from November of 2018, I have actually started wearing this on weekends, casually, as just a weekend bag, because it's such a good bag and I just thought it seems really silly to leave it in my closet for so long. So I have been breaking it out every chance that I get. Also what I'll do today is to show you what fits inside because even though it's very small, it's actually quite deceiving. It can fit quite a lot of stuff, way more than your essentials, or at least way more than my essentials. So I will pop it up here and let's see what I can fit in there. So the way that I carry my stuff is I have SLGs. I carry things in pouches because I change bags a lot and it's so much easier for me to just have things in pouches so that I can just grab the pouches and put into another bag as opposed to grabbing individual items. It, handbag organizers don't really work for me because I've got bags that aren't always just like a tote bag like the cat receives for example like it's got you know two compartments and it just doesn't really work um or the fendi peekaboo you know it's got two compartments you know a, a handbag organizer just wouldn't really work so i carry things in slgs i have a dior so this is my makeup bag um a dior pouch. I have a Chanel ombre grey O case, I believe they're called, which is so stunning. And this carries my electronics. So car keys, um, USBs, cables, um, my AirPods, they all go in here. I then also have the uh, Louis Vuitton, I think it's called the kimono trio pouch so it's this is the medium size so you buy this as a set of three and it comes in a small card holder size and it comes in a large um large kind of like i guess ipad size so three slgs um well four slgs because i've also got the bastia coin purse which is where i keep my cash and then I've also got my Dior limited edition uh, crocodile skin um, Miss Dior card holder. So, which is really stunning, by the way. It's very beautiful. So, I've got five SLGs. So, I won't do a what's in my bag, but I mean, what fits in my bag kind of is a what's in my bag, but it's not like a real representation of what's going to be in my what's in my bag. Okay, so what I'll do, so first thing I'll put in there is my Dior Lip Sugar Scrub. Which I'll just drop in there. You can't go without your card holder, so that'll have your credit cards and stuff. Now, people will put cash in the middle section, but because I've got the I've got a separate cash purse, I guess. Um, I keep that, so I put these two together. These have to go in there. Um, for me, what I do is I put each of these in one of the slots inside. Like that. Then I will, I have to have my car keys, so I'll put my car keys.
Now I've got USBs and stuff in here, so I don't really need that. So let's just say this is like a bag that you want to take out. Tissues you definitely have to have, and I like to carry a packet of Panadol um, or Paracetamol because you never know when you're going to get a headache. And I suffer from migraines, so drop that in there. Now, in terms of makeup, you should always carry a mirror. So I have the Chanel double mirror. Comes with its own felt pouch, which is pretty cool. Let's pop that in there. And a powder. I've got a Napoleon Purtis powder. Let's put a powder in there. You should always have some band-aids. Let's pop that in the front. And you should probably carry around some hand cream or moisturizer. I do, definitely. Now I have, um, well my nails are pretty short at the moment, but um, usually they're pretty long. Like I like to keep them longer and I chip them or there's a there's always a chance it'll chip and i always like to be prepared so i keep a little nail clipper in there too this one is protected so it's not going to like scratch my bag let's pop that in there so you can see there's actually quite a bit of stuff in there already now i'm going to also grab some mints because a girl always should have fresh bread. <laughs> and you'll also want to grab hand sanitizer as well. I like hand sanitizer. So we'll pop that in there. It's getting quite full actually. And um, you'll also probably want lip gloss and lipstick to reapply. And that is extremely full so and really heavy as well so let's just see if we can close the bag it has buttoned up but only just barely so this is capacity it won't even be able to fit one more thing not even like a hairpin I don't think um, so I never ever button this flap up but um, when it's this full, I usually do, because the reason I don't button it up is because it is very difficult to button up when your bag is not completely full. Um, and when it is completely full, it, there's stuff behind it that is pushing against the button, so you can push it down and close it very easily. So the fact that it has buttoned up means that the flap will close very easily, actually. And this is it. So you can see it's a tiny bit bulky and it's a bit kind of, oh, actually no. I would definitely say that this is realistic. Like if you wear, if you put all this stuff in the bag, you can still wear it. It's not um, unrealistically so bulky that it's, you know, that you wouldn't wear it. But you saw how much I put in here. It's insane. You could put your essentials and more. Now, of course, I put in a lot of items, but all of those items were very small items. So if you want to put in, say, like sunglasses or something, um, we could just take out things that you really don't need. And you can easily fit your sunnies in there. Done. See? You can easily fit your sunnies. So one pair of sunglasses to put inside this bag. All you need to take out is a lipstick, a lip balm, and your mirror. So it's really like not that many items that you need to take out.
I'm just gonna leave the bag there. Now you've seen what fits inside and you know I love the bag. And there you go. So that is the bag, that is what fits inside. Um, and you know, you know that I love the bag. Um, do I have any complaints? Well, the only complaint that I have, and it's not specific to this bag, so don't think that it's a problem with this bag. It's a problem that I have with shoulder bags in general. Um, so whether that's just anything with the shoulder strap, I always find that it slips off. When I'm wearing this bag or when I'm wearing any shoulder bag, I always find that it just slips off my shoulder eventually. So when I'm wearing it like this, it just slides off my shoulder and it's really annoying and frustrating. Um, some, when I wear it like this though, it doesn't because I have it like kind of under my underarm and it's just kind of sitting like this tight so it's okay um but it slides off and it's really frustrating but other than that i really don't have any complaints i'm able to actually use so even when this bag is completely full i am able to use this back pocket i can actually fit my phone in here um or some cards you know a train ticket or something so it's really good really really good this bag is actually not as impractical as it seems. So if you've got the money and if you've got your eye on the classic flap or the reissue bag, I definitely think it is worth the splurge because it is a bag that can get you through from day to night. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It is absolutely amazing. You can go casual, you can go formal, you can do so much with this bag and it is absolutely stunning. So that's my video, what fits inside. Hopefully you found it helpful and I hope that you'll come back for the next one because I've got, I'm planning to do videos like this for all of my bags. Just a short review. I mean, I love all my bags, so I don't even need to review them. I just want to show you what fits inside, what I've got, you know, how I use it. And I have done photos. Um, I've done a photo shoot recently, um, I think one week or two weeks ago. On my Instagram so go and check that out um, it's absolutely stunning and it just goes with anything as well this iridescent color goes with anything because it's a neutral don't be afraid to buy metallics and if you come across a bag like this whether it's um, secondhand so whether it's pre-loved or brand new if you come across a bag like this don't be afraid to invest if you've had your eye on this for a long time don't be afraid to splurge. And if you are going to splurge, do it soon because Chanel has been notorious with their price increases. It is definitely better to buy either pre-loved or now rather than later. Thank you so much for watching and I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye.